Hello, my name is Christian Ocampo. I'll be doing my video validation of setting up an IV. Um, like, we'll hang an IV medication without a pump. Uh, this is just the primary, not the piggyback. To start off, you're gonna want to check the physician's orders, identify the patient, as well as introducing yourself to the patient. You're gonna gather your equipment. You're going to explain the procedure to your patient. You're gonna wash your hands, and then you're going to provide for privacy. My equipment currently consists of um, my, I, my IV uh, medication. In this case, it's just IV maintenance, so it's just uh, normal saline. Uh, you're gonna check the bag for the expiration date. If it's uh, good, uh, no signs of any leakage, any holes, so it's good. And I'm gonna have my primary, uh, my primary uh, tubing. I'm just gonna clamp this right now. Because we're gonna need it to be clamped. You'll see why. Uh, alcohol prep pad and some labels. So, to start off, you're going to uh, assess your patient's IV site right here. You're going to look for redness, swelling, check the patency of it, make sure it's good. Uh, I would also like to mention that my patient's uh, bed is already at a working level. If you if you prefer it having at the lower level, good for you. Um, work at a comfortable level. So our next step, we're gonna take our label, and you're just gonna place it on uh, the bag right here. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I am not going to be doing this. Uh, but in reality, when you're out there uh, in a clinical setting, you are gonna have to do this. So we're going to start off by spiking our bag. So we're going to remove our spike cover. Just like so. And you're going to spike it. You want to make sure that you're not spiking through the bag. You know, you want to make sure it's flush. Now we're gonna hang our bag. And we're gonna depress our drip chamber until it's about full at the half to two thirds mark. That looks good. Next, we're going to prime it. So I'm just going to remove this little cover over here, make sure it's good by placing the cover on Table. You also want to make sure your environment's clean. And we're going to prime it. So we're going to take a roller clamp and unroll it back up slowly so that way we're not losing too much fluid. Also, I'd like to point out that for the purpose of this demonstration, I am not going to be hooking up my IV. Uh, to my uh, to this mannequin here. Slowly, let's go. You want to make sure that it's going. You want to make sure you get rid of any air bubbles that's in your in your line. Clamp it. Next up, take our alcohol prep pad, open it up, and we're going to clean the access port. Hi, hello, my name is Ping Wan Lee. Today, I'm going to do a video validation on secondary. I'm going to rub it for about 15 seconds or so in circular motion. This is for Professor Hayes, section 602.
And I stated earlier, I am not going to actually plug it up like so. So instead, I'm just going to have this just sitting in a kidney basin. So now that it's hooked up to our patient, we're going to undo the clamp. And then we're going to get our, uh, we're going to set up our uh, tubing in matters of drops per minute. Uh, so in this case, we're going to be going for 60 drops in a minute. Um, considering that, um, you also want to take into consideration about your, uh, what you have on your orders as well as, uh, what kind of tubing that you have in terms of like your factor. In this case, it might happen to be 10 drops per ml. So, using the roller clamp, we are going to, uh, use our watch as well. Make sure we get the right amount of drops. Uh, in a minute, you can go as little as 15 seconds or as uh, okay. long as you need to, really as long as this is already hooked up to the patient and the patient's getting the fluids and medications that they need. All right. Before anything, uh, the primary tubing is running. So, so we're imagining it. Um, so, we're going to check aim for, for 15 you know, drops of the side skin, any rash, everything seems good. I'm just making Two, sure this is the correct medication four, compared with the physician's order. Um, medication record. Nine. Oh, I happen to get it right on my freezer. I'm just going to move my camera to show you guys. So you're just going to uh, match the drops that's going down on the drip chamber to your watch, to your second hand, and make sure that uh, it's going, you're getting the amount of drops that's needed in the correct amount of time. So in this case, since I'm going for uh, 60 drops per minute, there should be a drop at relatively every second. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, you get the point. So after that, I'm gonna record our INOs, and then I'm gonna put this bed down in the lowest position. Uh, give my patient the call bell light, and. That'd be it. Also, I know I didn't mention this earlier, but you should also want to make sure that you have your right to medication before you do any of this stuff. But that's going to be right med, right dose, right timing, right patient, right route, right reason, and right documentation. And that's how you set up your IV. Thank you. Have a good day.